I have a dream. Sorry, a goal. No, not a dream. I, I don't want to appropriate somebody else's speech here or anything. Um, <laughs> the goal is, because people keep telling me, you should go for other endings other than the normal ending. And I kind of agree. I always think about doing it, and then I don't end up doing it. Because I realize that going the normal path all the way to the Dark Primo chest is kind of the most fun, because you get the most opportunities. The run is technically the longest, etc, etc. But alas, I've decided today I shall go to the beast. Which is why I'm going to skip my first couple of item rooms. Because I can just grab those items on the way back up and pray that whatever I get in the meantime is actually good. It means I don't have to necessarily commit to angel deals. It means I can get myself a guaranteed planetarium. I can do a lot of great things. Ooh, I would love that sharp plug. However, getting 15 cents on the first floor, uh, well, unless I get another one in a trillion chance pageant boy payout. Uh, yeah, it's not gonna happen, I think. Um, we'll see, I suppose. But yeah, I've decided from the get-go, for once, even though I've got no reason to considering I'm not gonna get any unlocks from it, I'm gonna fight the beast today. Normally, I only go for the beast whenever I do RQ runs, or whenever I just on a whim decide, hey, I've gotten, like, a crazy good item on my first floor, let's, let's go, right? But for once, I'm gonna do it from the get-go. If this run is terrible, I'm gonna have to actually fight the beast for once. I can't just run away and, uh, change lanes or something like that. Nah, man. We're gonna fight the damn beast. It was the last thing I do. I guess I could die beforehand, fair enough, but, you know, let's not get ahead of ourselves. That would be unrealistic. I don't die. I'm not that bad at the game. I don't lose. Only, only losers lose, but I'm not a loser. I'm a, I'm a winner <laughs> or something. That's my mom mama always told me I'm a winner. Ow, I should actually stop getting hit so much. Fucking first of all, Ragman with no items, man. This shit is ass, bro. Shit is annoying. Maybe should have done this shit as Eden instead of Isaac, but I was like, oh, maybe I can do some cheeky reroll abuse. I have a sharp pluck potentially available to me. It's gonna become even easier, right? Please just die. Thank you. My goodness. Okay. Yeah, I should have rerolled this. Ah, ah, ah. I took my hands off the keyboard. <laughs> I wasn't ready. I was like so glad that it's finally over. I could like rest for a second, take my left hand out the keyboard. Nah, man. What was I thinking? Secret rooms. Secret rooms. I got golden bombs for days, which means I will absolutely blow up my donut machine, by the way. If I could get that sharp plug, that would be amazing. Full health. Huge. Health down. It sucks. Another HP down? Okay. <laughs> Guess I'll go fuck myself. What the fuck, man? First things first. Love your donut machine. If you get 15 cents, buy sharp plug. Oh my god. Yeah, you're not just getting sharp plug. Because my next guess was maybe play this judgment card a bit as well. Considering you have a charge available, it's right here in the secret room already. You you might as well, right? Judgment. F fuck you. <laughs> Screw you, man. I was I was like pointing the middle finger at the monitor. You would never know, but I was- I was like, IRL, I was pointing my middle finger at the monitor. That shit made me mad. It made me upset. What's the deal with the middle finger anyway? I know where it came from. I know it was like archers, something, something, medieval times, something, something like that, right? How come there's two different kinds of middle finger? There's just showing your middle finger, which is, you know, an obscene gesture. It's considered to be insulting in many cultures. And then there's also showing your middle finger, but with the thumb sticking out on the side, right? Why is- that's considered so much more offensive as- Oh, whoa, well, I guess I don't really need the Degas rune anymore if I can just get this black candle. Like, I, as, as far as I, at least I remember it from, like, a kid being taught about this and stuff, showing the middle finger is rude, but showing the middle finger with the thumb sticking out at the side is even more offensive. It's even ruder, somehow. I don't know why, I don't really know what the difference is. Most people don't do the middle finger with the thumb sticking out on the side anymore, I feel. I feel like most people just do normal middle finger if they ever show the middle finger at all. I feel like that's become kind of a, an uncommon gesture to begin with already as well. I think considering that people are so online nowadays and don't don't go out anymore, they also don't uh, necessarily as frequently show middle fingers to people, if you know what I mean. I've certainly shown the middle finger to my computer screen more frequently than I have to a real person in my life. Uh, when I get slighted in a video game I'm playing, I- I will- I will flip it off! Uh, nothing but the- the game. Secret room, secret room, secret room down here. You know it, it's right here, man. Let's go. Also, a good pill. Luck up. Huge. Devil card. Nice. Money. Amazing. Give me that black candle straight away. Hello, Clog. I'm just gonna use a devil card on you, honestly. I wanna kill you as fast as possible. You are a bit of a tanky boss. You're a bit of a nuisance. Hey, tears up. Cool. I will check my devil deal. I'll check what's inside. Mmm. Roll me. Mmm. 
Okay, yeah, those were not worth it. Uh, should have come in here with a charge, huh? Because now if I walk back out, it closes, so I should just take this. It's unfortunate, but yeah, I should have really come in there with a charge. That would have been way smarter, because that way I could have rerolled this and maybe gotten damage instead, but... Uh, well, I don't do smart things. That is already well known. I don't really do smart things. I swear to God. The one time I'm just gonna try to go for a planetarium, you're gonna take forever to give it to me, huh? So I can't actually look at my item rooms. I, I know how it's gonna be, man. Yep, no planetarium this floor. As is to be expected, really. Hello, Wormwood. At least this is an easy boss. That's nice. Now that I'm, like, thinking about hand gestures, by the way, I just got reminded of another very, very funny story. So in, like, it was year... I think it was year 12. It was like our final class trip that we took with our, you know, final, final year in school. And it was a- we went on a class trip to, uh, Italy. Specifically, we went to, uh, what's the area called? Fucking- around, like, Florence and shit. I forgot what the area is called. Uh, it's like a region of, of Italy. I'm sure I'll remember in- in post. Anyway, that doesn't- that doesn't really- like, where we were in Italy doesn't really matter. It was just a nice, like, trip in May to Italy, you know, like, it's just getting warmer, we had some- spent time on the beaches, did a lot of sightseeing, it was- it was cool, as a school trip it was uh, certainly fun, let's take some HP, I'm actually kinda low. The fun story, the fun part of the story is obviously we traveled everywhere by bus, right? This was like a group of like, 60 something people, uh, so we- we traveled by bus everywhere, and our bus driver was absolutely killing it, obviously he drove us there through the night, and so like, he was- he was working overtime, he was- he was doing a phenomenal job, marvelous fella. And, well, the fun part is, at some point, in, in some it city, I forgot which one it was, but it was some Italian city. We come to a roundabout, and we're, like, bro is waiting there for a while. He's, he's waiting at that roundabout for quite a while. Like, there's a lot of traffic, nobody's letting us in, we're sitting there for ages. He finally finds a little opening, pulls straight up into the roundabout. Unfortunately, there was a car that, uh, you know, he kind of cut off a little bit. But it had to happen, bro was waiting at that roundabout for like two whole minutes, you know? Eventually, you kind of just lose your lose your patience and you want to just go. So I can't really blame my bus driver for it. But the funny part about this is, the funny, the funny part of the story is how as soon as that happened, like the second that happened, you saw the classic, you know, fingers together hand gesture out of the uh, car window of the Italian driver's car. Which I think is really, really funny. Because everybody that sa sat on the left side of the bus could see it as well. And everybody was like, oh my god, I can't believe that just happened. But, you know, you cut, you cut off an Italian driver, you see that hand sign immediately. It, it couldn't have been more perfectly stereotypical, but it was extremely funny when it happened. It was just like, yep, okay, we're, we're in Italy, all right. That and the fact that for some reason, whenever we arrived at any major destination, so we, like, we went to Pisa as well to look at the, you know, the Leaning Tower, uh, and any- any major tourist destination city and stuff like that, whenever we'd arrive at, well, whatever parking lot the bus would be parked at before we walked into the city, without fail, every single one of those parking lots, as soon as the bus stopped and we got off the bus, there were, like, a ton of vendors scurrying like rats from every corner of the parking lot, with, like, racks upon racks of fake bracelets, watches, sunglasses, whatever, just racks and racks of those on their arms, you know, like wooden racks, just carrying those around and trying to go you into buying a fake Rolex for 15 bucks, which I also found very intriguing, because, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess this was around, I want to say, 2018, so it was at the tail end of whatever you want to call the refugee crisis in the EU. I just want to point out a lot of these fellas looked like they were African, right? So I guess anything to earn some uh, earn some money for them, right? I'm not I'm not blaming them. It's just uh, it was just very curious how this happened everywhere we went, and I'm sure this they just see like a bus of tourists arriving, and they're like, oh shit, it's payday time, right? They see, oh man, these people are obviously not from here. If they're on like a tour bus, if they're on a trip here, they're they're, they're definitely not from here. So I can probably rip them off. Although. If anything, it's them getting ripped off because I got a good deal on a fucking brand new Rolex, baby. I'm joking, I don't think I bought anything off of any one of them. Maybe I bought a set of sunglasses off of one of them, I actually don't remember. I, I had to, you know, help out the local economy. I'm sure those guys paid their taxes, <laughs> without a doubt. But, uh, yeah, that was, that was also pretty curious. No, Italy was fun. 
Tuscany. I remember now. It was the Tuscany region. That's what that region is called. Spring. Late spring in, in May. Matter of fact, one of the first days we were there, it was like high 20s, low 30s already. And we just went on the beach and I got sunburned on our first day. Because nobody was like, at home, it was still very rainy. It was like, you know, May. It was, it was late spring, but it was quite rainy. So we weren't really expecting it to be all that warm when we traveled. Most people didn't bring sunscreen, myself included. I wasn't expecting to actually spend a day on the beach, and then we spent a day on the beach, and... Well, to be fair, everybody was tired of shit because we just driven by bus for like 12 hours. But, yeah, I kind of just fell asleep at the beach and got a mild sunburn on my, my back at that day. That was fun. That was a fun class trip, though. I, I loved it. Like, every everybody in the year... We, had, we were like a ton of people in the year, right? Like a ton of classes. Every class went on their own little trip somewhere. I think we got one of the best ones going to Italy. We, we lobbied for that one. Like our, our course leaders, our class reps, I guess, they they kind of lobbied for that one with our teachers. Like, hey, can we go to Italy? That'd be cool as hell. Some other people went to fucking Scotland. It was shit weather. Some other people, I think, went to like Northern France, which was fine, I suppose. But, you know, they were in France, which is basically like... T terrible <laughs> and then i don't know some people i think just went to somewhere in germany which is honestly like if you're going on a class trip and everybody else in your year like all your parallel classes are going on like trips across europe and you end up just going to like i don't know berlin that's kind of sad honestly berlin's a bit of a shithole kind of kind of a not a place you want to be necessarily if you have the choice but oh well i suppose things just kind of happen like that you want to join me a planetarium floor game that'd be nice just a planetarium at some point here would be absolutely tremendous so i can finally start looking at my item rooms and just seeing if there's like anything I want in there <laughs> just to, just because I'm curious please uh, okay a shop is a good start I, I do have keys I do have some money this is this is fine a lot of wild shit actually happened on that Italy trip now that I like think back to it a little bit more first hotel we arrived at you know it was after like a 12 hour road trip and at least I am somebody that has this I have like a shy bladder when traveling kind of or like shy bowels even when traveling right no place you can shit at is as good as at home, obviously. But after being on the road for like 12 hours and basically not shitting for over 24 hours, I had to shit, right? I, so we got our hotel room, I, I went to take a shit, and for a second after I was done, I tried flushing. And, uh, well, it didn't go down at first, so I was a bit concerned for a while. Uh, it took a few attempts. I guess the weak Italian plumbing couldn't handle uh, the bomb I planted inside the toilet, but that's, uh, you know, secondary, really. And then the same day, I think, because it was somebody on the class trip, uh, it was, like, his, uh, I think it would have been his 19th birthday or something like that, so he was celebrating it that day, and later on that day, they were in the room above us, so it was, like, a small hotel, and, like, some rooms, I think every room actually had a balcony, and they were in the room above us, and I remember distinctly, there was a moment at some point later that evening where they just started pissing off the balcony <laughs> onto some cars in the parked in the road down below uh so that was pretty funny that that was a, that was a pretty funny time just seeing that unfold obviously nobody snitched well i'm not gonna go for mega satan i would love to have a bomb so i could fucking blow up the angel statue but whatever roll this oh my god quite literally because it's got it that's incredible any cool a judgment card huh well i'll hold on to that what i need now is more charges I know there's a small battery outside this room, so if you could give me... Okay, well, that'll do. <laughs> I was gonna say, if you could give me uh, a couple more, that'd be good, but this works as well. I'm okay with this. I need a bomb, because uh, if the angel deal spawns, I want to blow up that angel statue and maybe get another roll in the angel room. I don't, I don't think there's a reasonable way of doing it without playing the challenge room, which I should have done anyway to get charges in the first place, but... It wouldn't have been enough, I would have played, have to play the char charge beggar anyway. Wow, that's a good trinket, holy shit. This will actually be active a lot of the time, I feel. I guess I should be holding onto this, though, because maybe it can give me a room drop bomb. Oh my god. I think me picking up that matchstick did it there. I don't want to toot my own horn too much, but I think me picking up that matchstick there actually provided me with the bomb. Alright, he's taken care of. I did get the deal again, I was hoping for that. Hello, my friend, would you like to die? I sure hope you do, because that would be lovely. I would love to turn what you have uh, into perhaps something much more useful for me, like, uh... Oh, I don't know. Well, first of all, let's use this. Okay, well, I should have done it the other way around, but oh well. Ugh, oh. You win some and you lose some, and at that time I definitely lost some. 
I don't know, the Italy trip was fun. It was, it was great times, great times there. Can't believe we got away with that. Because the thing is, the way it works when you're in like years 11 through 13 here, right? You you pick like three major courses for your school year. And one of those becomes your like like main course, your your head course essentially, right? That's the one like, and, like think of it as your like tutor tutoring class or whatever, right? Where like your teach is kind of like, it's a little bit more important or whatever. The one for me was the chemistry course. And we went to... The, 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 we would team up with one other course, which, which, which was a biology class, and we went to Italy together. Like, a lot of the courses in the year, they, they you know, like, the English ones, for instance, that, those were the ones that went to Scotland, and stuff like that. The French courses went to France, right? So, like, I don't know how we managed to convince our, well, effectively, chemistry and biology teachers that we should definitely go to Italy instead of anywhere else that would maybe be a bit more suitable to uh, the subject matters, right? Because... They, when, when you do class trips, even if it's more of a leisurely class trip like this was, they, the teachers try to somehow integrate, make it a little bit educational, right? They, they drag you to places that are maybe somewhat informative or have to do with a subject matter. So the fact that we somehow managed to convince them, uh, yeah, let's just go to like a, this, like a vacation in Italy, right on the Mediterranean Sea, uh, just at the start of summer. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how we managed to pull that shit off, but... We did, and it was a great time. There's so many great stories around as well. I remember there was one time uh, when we were just like in one of the cities, just having a good time, chilling, hanging out. We happened upon a grocery store that was selling uh, high concentration alcohol. And this wasn't like, you know, isopropyl or anything like that. It was just straight up ethanol, like basically pure ethanol that was just being sold in bottles like it was a drink, like it was vodka or something like that. Something you would never find over the counter here. And that was just at a, like, a random grocery store. So I remember that evening at dinner, one of my friends was just sitting there like on a napkin doing calculations like, hmm, if I bought this bottle of like 90% pure ethanol, <laughs> how many drinks could I mix with it? Oh my lord, okay, yeah, give me that sacred heart, sure. How many drinks could I mix with this? Uh, Instead, like, as opposed to, say, an average bottle of vodka, if I wanted to mix vodka with, say, Fanta or orange juice or something like that. It was actually doing the math, like, okay, how many balls does it take? How expensive is it? What are the break-even points and all that? It was uh, quite funny. Unfortunate that this is an Eden soul, huh? Roll again. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Well, at least I got Seraphim out of it. Roll again. I'll take it. No, wait. Roll again. Okay, fine, I'll take that. <laughs> you you got me, I'll finally take that. I might as well grab this, see what we can get. Ooh, a stars card. Hello there. That's gonna get rid of Matchbook? That's totally okay. It's not like Matchbook really does anything for me at this point. So bro was like sitting there the entire dinner time, like for an hour or something, just trying to figure out like, uh, the percentages, like what if I wanted to mix these drinks? Uh, he ended up buying like six bottles of it and just carrying it in his suitcase the entire time, which I found really funny. I'm gonna go for some crazy rerolls here. I don't even want to take chaos. Like, I'm just gonna try to go for rerolls. Might as well blow up this. Maybe he's got head of the keeper as well. Would have been ambitious, I suppose. Surely there's a planetarium this floor, right? I've skipped every item room up until now. Surely there's gonna be a planetarium finally, right? Surely. Surely the game with an 80% chance is gonna pay out with a planetarium, right? Oh, cool. That's nice. Tears up always goes huge. I can't believe it. You're gonna make me go to the 100% chance to try and get a planetarium here? You're actually gonna do that to me, game. I'm a little pissed off. All right. Well, I guess we'll use sharp plug a little bit. Okay, I just got shotgun blasted by this. Oh my lord. Okay. Yeah, let's just use the D-Infinity here, get ourselves another great reroll going. And, uh, well, there's no charges for me, unless... Do I want Echo Chamber? I think Echo Chamber is a bit boring here. I don't think I need it. Okay, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, we've upgraded officially all the way. Now we're at the D Infinity. I think this is fine. Hold on, let's instead of going for an extra charge on the spin down dice, what I should do is play this. Hope it pays out. You're gonna get me min maxing like this. I can already easily beat the beast with this run. By the way, this run is so unbelievably powerful. I've been getting real lucky with my angel deals. But come on, like you've got you've got a little bit of opportunities here for me. A couple more plays. Come on, pay out. With blood bag, I beg of you, I beg of you. I could spin down in the secret room, turn a skeleton key into raw liver, which gives me a ton of HP that I can then use to play this. Unfortunately, 
What if it then pays out? I guess I have to use sharp plug. Grab me everything in here that I want, aka this and that. Wow, that's a ton of HP. Actually, maybe. <laughs> Hold on. Wait a minute here. I did not know it heals you to full as well. I thought it just gives you like three hearts or something. Wait a second. <laughs> it. It's. It's. We're so back. I was gonna say it's not over. We are so back. And we are indeed so unbelievably back. The one time I'm not even really trying to rig the game. The game kind of just allowed me to rig it. Like, I'm not trying to go crazy with the rigging, right? I'm not going to the dark room or anything, but the game's just kind of like, Oh, yeah, have a broken run. Go go wild. Why not? Enjoy yourself. You gotta find yourself the full card. Otherwise, you will not be able... Oh, well, there's another temperance. <laughs> Wait a minute. Another brimstone, perhaps. I'm gonna go for broke here. It'll pay out, I'm sure. It'll pay out eventually. Interesting, okay, well, I know what to spend some money on. All the money that I'm getting from the blood bank, right? At least I can go in here now without having to- Okay! <laughs> without having to worry about it, was, uh, was I was gonna say, because I am guaranteed to get a plant here now. So, that's cool. Uh, yeah, it color me impressed. I might as well play this a bit. It paid out on the first play. I don't really want to, like, use up all my money for this, but at this point I've kind of committed. Maybe a cool trinket? No, okay, whatever. There it is, my planetarium, finally. Unfortunately, I don't have my D6 anymore, so I'm just gonna pray that there's a good item here. However, all the planetarium items are pretty much next to each other, so... Spin downs can still be effective. For instance, I can turn Mars into Terra, which I will. That is absolutely worth doing. It's some um, big old damage up. Uh, Red Stew is a full heal. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we're getting that other blood bag, aren't we? Temperance? Mm, I'd rather not. I don't care about the damage bonus from Red Stew. That's like literally whatever to me. I just want a blood bag out of this. That's ah, not a blood bag. That's not a blood bag. Another claw game or another blood bank? Are you kidding me? Okay, wait a second. Maybe my spin down gets used here instead. Okay, fine. I know I want pentagram, but I also kind of want to get these. Maybe they pay out with cool stuff. Oh, the spin downs on these are all shambolic anyway. Okay, well, give me that fool card. Might as well fight the boss right now. It's another charge at the end of the day. Let's just annihilate mom. This should be very quick. It's been a while since I fought just normal mom like this, but I always fight the- because I always fight the mausoleum one, because I always go Opa. So it's quite the refreshing change for once. There we go. More blood banks would be pretty huge if the game wants to give me some. Normal temperance cards, all that sort of stuff. I would- I would absolutely love it. Be a huge fan of it. Small rock is also crazy. Thank you. <laughs> Emperor? Sure. I don't know what you're called, by the way. I shouldn't have skipped, uh, skipped the title card, but whatever. I, I'm just gonna fight this guy real quick. Ah, uh, that's a full heal, is it not? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. I wouldn't mind Humbling Bundle, but come on. Genesis? I don't think I want a Genesis either. I don't think I'm particularly interested in a Genesis play right now. I would love to find a Blood Bank here. Okay, well, the crawl space is also impressive. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it's only got this freak inside, which is actually probably better use for my money right now. Pay out? Hello? What the fuck? He's greedy. I might as well check it, see what we have. Uh, Capricorn's just worth taking. Hell, all you have to give me to make me happy is a temperance card. Blue map turns into 2020. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine with that, that's okay. Let's just get a full charge real quick. I might as well, because there's so many red hearts lying around. I, uh, I don't see a reason not to, basically. We're on the ascent now, baby! There's no reason for me to stick on this floor for much longer. There's not much on the ascent pop. Like, you're really just going for the item rooms, and that's about it. I love- I love when there's a ton of enemies spread out like that and the brimstone just starts spazzing the fuck out. It's so good. Alright, I can finally see what's in here. Oh my god! This is what I was missing out on this whole time? Holy shit! Okay! Damn, shorty, okay! The cricket's body? Now Godhead does something again, let's go! I kinda wanted this to be a bit of a shorter run and it ended up being kinda long. Interesting, lover's card, huh? Well, I don't really know where to use it, so I'll just use it in here probably. Any cool spin downs? Eh, not really. I'll just save my- I'll actually just save my charge here. This is not worth anything to me. Nothing else that's exciting though. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'll just take this, whatever. Not even more spinning down. <clears throat> oh yeah! Sure, I left this behind apparently. There was a trinket in there, I guess. There it is! Let's see what I skipped! Jacob's lap. Bro, this run would have been insane! <laughs> Wait, much rather, it is insane, but it could have been like... This level of insane even sooner than it is now. Holy shit, dude. If you ever wanted, like, a textbook prime example as to why you should skip your item rooms when you're on the ascent path, as long as you don't desperately need items, as long as you 
are getting decent stuff. This is why. Because, my god, I've been getting bangers. Exclusively bangers. There's my item room. The first one of the run that I also skipped, it had Spoonbender in it. Which is hilarious. I'm gonna go for the triple shot because I don't get the tears down from it. And I get to shoot three laser beams, which is obviously cool. I don't need Spoonbender because, you know, I already have homing from two other items, mind you. First things first, though. This spins down into nothing exciting, so I'll just take it. And you are mom's pad and your spin down chain is absolutely abhorrent. There's, there's nothing good down that line. It's just absolutely terrible across the board. Okay, who cares? Don't even care. I'm just gonna go fight the, the, the television industry, I guess. Isn't that fun? The TV industry gets destroyed by a little boy with uh, incredibly powerful weaponry or something. I don't know. All things considered, this isn't the fastest beast kill I've ever had, but also because I usually go for the beast on RQ runs, my my perception is a little skewed. Usually my beast runs tend to be extremely overpowered just because I get two runs worth of items on them. That was still a very quick dogma kill, all things considered. So I got no room to complain. I got everything I wanted out of this run. I got a planetarium item, I got an incredible run, I get to kill the beast. Like, what more could you want in life, right? It's actually not a steamroll of a beast fight, so hey, I get to experience the full thing for once, which is a rarity nowadays. <laughs> All those like little fucking Cricket's body tears are just going off, going back in. Each one of them has its own godhead aura, which they stack, I'm pretty sure. So like, it's, it's kind of incredible. Death is done, he didn't even get to do all of his attacks. And I get to do double damage against the beast with the strength card. Isn't that fun? Yeah, I'm absolutely destroying her. She has no chance. This is a massacre. This is an absolutely beautiful massacre, mind you, but it is a massacre nevertheless. It is so over for the beast. I would not be surprised if she doesn't even get to do a single attack. Yeah, no, she doesn't. The slowdown combined with the amount of damage I'm dealing is just incredible. I might kill her before she hits a single spike. Ah, uh, not quite, but close. Wow. What a run, dude. That was insane. It's also so loud. I gotta cut that cutscene off. Anyway, that was fun. I hope you've enjoyed yourself as much as I have. And I hope I can see you again tomorrow. As per usual. Have a good one. Bye.